Hello there and welcome to this uh, Year 9 revision video for in preparation for your end of unit test where we're looking at Python. Uh, so let's get going. So first of all, what is Python? Python is a textual programming language which is free to install and use. So you can use it pretty much anywhere and anytime that you want for free with no cost. It's used by lots of different companies and can be used pretty much on any device. Uh, remember when you're looking at Python code to look for three things. First of all, look for variables. Variables are something which holds information. So for example, you can have a variable called name which would normally hold someone's name. Once you found your variables, look for math operators, um, and then look for different functions. So for example, print, input, or in input that you might use. So different data types you need to be aware of, integers, strings, Boolean, and characters. And remember, Boolean is with a capital B because it's named after George Ball. Uh, and at the moment, just to begin with, we're looking just simply at the print function. So here we have got a variable called age, uh, which is being assigned the value 23. And then on the next line, we are printing age. And notice because it's a number at the, for uh, 23, we're just writing it as it is. Compare that to this one, birthday equals it's Rachel's birthday. Uh, and we're printing the birthday variable. And notice because it's um, text, we put it into quotation marks. And again here, we've got uh, three variables, num1, num2, and ants. Uh, where num1 is equal to 23, num2 is equal to 45, and ants is equal to num1 plus num2. And then we're just going to be printing it off. If we're thinking about user input within Python, uh, we use the input function uh, to handle text. So for example, here we've got name equals input, what is your name? When we run this code, it will come up on the screen which says what is your name and the user can then enter some text. So then for example here, we've got a variable called animal uh, and we're gonna be asking the user what their favorite animal is um, and the input is gonna be able to handle that. And again here, uh, we've got name equals input, what is your name? And then we've combined that with a print and we're gonna be say hello name. So for example, if they put in Dave, the program will come up with hello Dave. And again here, we've got the same with age, but what we want to do with that is we want to be able to make sure we can use it with numbers, which we'll look at in a future slide. With this slide here, you can see that there are multiple things wrong with it. So for example, there's no quotation marks for the text uh, and also the brackets at the end of input hasn't been closed. I talked about previously about wanting to be able to type in a number for age and this is where int comes into play. Int is of course short for integer and then so whatever gets put into this answer for what is your age is going to be considered um, an integer, considered a whole number. So you can see here they've got an added set of brackets which is indicated by those funky green arrows. And then finally here we've got another piece of code here which is going to ask what their name is and print hi and what their name is and then it's going to ask them what their age has been as well and you are and it will tell you what the age is. This has been a very quick overview uh, on Python. If you want to know specific information about different Python videos, feel free to check the Python videos which have got different bits of code in. Uh, good luck for your exams, and I'll see you in a future video. Goodbye.